Okay folks, here we go. I've got another one just come out of the freezer. This is strawberry. Now, uh, while it's um, being processed, I'll talk you through what I actually put in there. It's mainly just strawberries and cream. But there's some vanilla in it, I think, uh, I, think I put in it. Right, turn it on and we'll go ice cream. It's going to be noisy, so just bear with me and uh, I'll just get the recipe and then we can, I can talk you through it, you know, on what I did. is that it had come from seven and a half billion light years away, halfway across the visible universe. Right, Al, if you can hear me, I, uh, I did eight ounces, which is uh, 225 grams of strawberries. I did half a cup of granulated sugar, but I did raw sugar. I don't like the white sugar. I did um, one teaspoon of um, glucose, which is very, very much like corn syrup. Uh, I did one teaspoon of uh, fresh lemon juice and one cup of heavy cream. I squashed the strawberries I squashed the strawberries with a, a potato masher, left it for 10 minutes to absorb everything, put it in the container, in the pint container, and I had to freeze it for 24 hours, which was started 12 o'clock yesterday. And uh, we're nearly there, we're nearly done. So, Uh, it's on it's what it's gonna I've just got to check now whether it's um, powdery like or whether it's uh, we'll just just have a quick check because I might have to put it through again actually that's okay don't have to put that through again but what I will do, I'm going to um, make make a hole in there like that. Make a hole in the ice cream. And I'm gonna put some chunks of strawberries in. Like that. I'll put the lid back on, and then we'll we'll do it. Put it through the mix and mix them through, and we'll mix them through, and that'll only take a short time. Right on. Now there's a there's a mix in button. I'll show you that. That's the mix in button there. And you, you hit that, and that should mix it. It doesn't take as long, and it's not as powerful as actually making the ice cream. The molder is depends on what buttons you press, on how how hard it works. But I 
I'm going to. I'll make Beryl a cone with it when she, she's still eating her lunch. Uh, I'm going to have mine in a bowl. There we go. This is going to be very interesting. I'm going to try it. Let's see. That's incredible. I, uh, That's mine. And I'm going to put this back in the fridge, in the freezer, and I'll do barrels when I've eaten that, because she's still eating her, her lunch. I've ordered uh, four more containers, because next time, next time I do something, I'm going to I'm going to make two of everything. So might even make four of these cuz I got four more coming. Now Here we go. There, there, there it is. Mm. There's chunks of strawberry in there now. Mm. That'd be lovely. But I'll tell you one thing. The strawberry ice cream you buy in the shops is nothing like that. There's no taste to it. You might all be eating vanilla. And there's not a big taste of vanilla in it either. Hmm. Wow. That's enormous. Hmm. I'm going to put barrels in a cone. Look how thick it is, it's creamy. Young. And it's cold, you can see the, the steam coming off it, the cold air. Wow. Well, as much as I like banana ice cream, this is my favourite up to now. I don't think I'll be able to beat that. I won't be able to beat that for taste or texture. I don't think. This is enormous. I know one thing. They're going to last very long in this house. <laughs> this is my next one. Mango. 
Can't get fresh mango at the moment. Not as ripe as I want them. So I'm going to try it with the tin mango and we'll do it as a sorbet. And I'll wait till the mango season comes and then I'll actually make the ice cream. It's a little bit different process. Wow. That's enormous. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm going to put this one, this video, on Facebook for all my friends to see and my family in case they're not connected to my uh, YouTube channel. Oh. Well, that's uh, exceeded all my expectations. Absolutely. Mm. I think I'll have another. Getting <laughs> to sound like me dad. He loved his ice cream. Wow. Anyway, folks, that's it. You see now I do it. Uh, it's dead easy. In fact, that strawberry one was probably the easiest of them all. And the less ingredients because it was all fresh fruit. And uh, absolutely loved it. It's... Uh, it's a winner in my book and uh, I can't wait to get the other containers so I can start making all different kinds of flavours. But I'll be making that one again, that's for sure. Ah, but there is a secret. You've got to know how to pick your strawberries. Most people just pick a punnet of strawberries up and they don't look at them, they don't smell them. The best way to pick ripe strawberries is by smelling them. How do I know? Because I used to own a strawberry farm up in Queensland. <laughs> and you can smell whether a strawberry is ripe or not. Trust me. Next time you go and buy a punnet of strawberries, if you can't smell them, don't buy them. I was lucky with these because it's early on in the season. My first pick with the strawberries was on my dad's birthday on the 24th of May and that's because I planted them in the second week of April. I planted early and uh, I got an early one and I got a good price for the product because I was only one of the few people who had them. And they were not hollow inside, they were full of juice. They sold themselves, I didn't have to sell them. They sold themselves. Somebody saw a punnet of my strawberries. They never even asked the price. The first thing they said is, how many have you got? <laughs> anyway, I used to sell them to the uh, local uh, shops up in Queensland. Did good. It was good. It was worth it. Because I was a primary producer. And uh, it was worth it. But having to come down to Sydney to look after my mum and dad, and my kids didn't want to go back, so we sold the place. There you go, them's the breaks. And I just uh, got a day job down here, and uh, I uh, ended up now just doing my music. Uh, casual when I. When a gig comes in, I do it. If it doesn't come in, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so that's, that's a little bit of insight into what I'm all about. Anyway, this is going on for about 15 minutes. So I'll, I'll keep it there and I'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy the video. Give me a like there. Yeah. Or leave a comment, you know. And uh, I'll see you again.
Bye bye. Tattoo bye. Tara. See you later. Well, go on then. Up it. Scram. Bugger off. <laughs> Tada.